If you want to learn how to do the around the world soccer trick, I'm going to show you a few different variations on how to perform that skill, as well as giving you an in-depth tutorial so you can finally master this trick once and for all. How do you actually do this thing around the world soccer trick? Let's break it down. So I showed a few different variations. I'm just gonna break down inside and outside. There might even be another technical term for it. Freestyle soccer community is probably gonna tear me apart because I'm not a freestyler. I have spent time in the past practicing the skills, having fun with it. And yes, it does help you develop your ball control. So. If it's something you want to master, you're tired of not being able to do it, let's talk about how to do it. So, the first thing, and I would just start like that, start from that, so don't, don't even start from a juggle. You want to start like that and you want no spin on the ball, it's going to make it easier. So, the touch is actually, the touch before you put your foot around the ball, it's a, this is how freestyle jugglers juggle the ball because they want minimal spin on the ball. If the ball is always spinning like you would normal juggling with backspin, you can still perform tricks, but it makes it more difficult. When you have a little less spin on the ball, it's easier to perform the skill. But I want you to think about this touch here, you're doing that specifically. You're doing that freestyle juggler and you're just kind of picking the ball up off your toe. Now the key is, when I do that, when I make that touch, I need to start the movement of that circle in the same motion. I'm not kicking the ball, I'm not kicking the ball, and then trying to put my leg around it. If I do that, you're gonna have to be crazy fast and realistically, you're never gonna get there. So what you wanna think about is putting two movements into one motion. I'm picking it up, and I'm starting my circle at the same time. Okay, so you're doing that juggling touch, it's coming off the toe, and at the same time, I'm starting the circle. And I'm actually hitting a little on the inside of the ball. I'm definitely not hitting on this side of the ball, I'm hitting a little more on this side of the ball, and that's where you see that side spin. Okay, because if I hit it right in the middle, it's just gonna hit me in the foot. If I hit it too much on this side, that's what you're gonna do when you try to go the other way. So you want to pick up that foot, you wanna hit on this side of the ball, you wanna start the movement at the same time. Picking up the leg, and then going around. And also I have to say, if you're a bit older, or you have a tendency to 
tear muscles pretty easily. Warm your groins up before you do these because all this motion, you're gonna get some pulls in there. And if you're not properly warmed up, you don't wanna injure yourself doing freestyle tricks. So, once you do that, you start, then you get, you're quick enough to get your foot under the ball. I'm just starting with bounce. And I'm just starting with a bounce. Maybe after you could start, no bounce. So, beginner, intermediate, now go advanced from an actual juggle. And get around the ball. You see me in the videos, I'm always doing with both feet. So you might as well practice. And then if you really want to challenge yourself, what you need to learn to do is to perform the skill with less set of time. So what I mean by that is, if I'm always taking 20 touches, 20 juggles, before I perform the skill, it doesn't look as good, it's not as challenging. So what you want to learn to do is, maybe like one, maybe like one touch in between to set yourself, and then perform the skill. Try to get, if you if you mastered it, and you feel pretty good about it, get away from one, okay, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm gonna go. Just go, just go, just try it. If you, if you screw up, the ball goes away, who cares? Just try it. You'll, you'll surprise yourself a lot of times just going for it. So don't overthink it. Obviously, you wanna try to set yourself the touch before you make the skills extremely important. So if I know I'm about to perform the skill, I need good quality in this touch right before the skill. If this touch is off, then that screws me up. Okay, so really focus on the set before the skill. But as I said, if it's not perfect, just go for it. Just see what happens, okay? And screw up and come back and try it again. And let's talk about that, like I talked in previous uh, freestyle trick videos. If you screw up and what do you do? Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it, screw this, and you just leave it, you're never going to improve. A great thing about practicing these tricks is it actually teach you mental toughness, calming the mind, getting over anger, getting over frustration, because that stuff doesn't help you improve at all. You have to have a strong mind, you have to be unfazed. If you make mistakes, you can make a thousand mistakes. The quote is whatever, fall down seven times, get up eight. As long as you keep trying and you keep thinking about what did I do wrong, how can I do something a little bit different this time? You're gonna improve the skill. So the first one I showed you was going outside. The next you can do is going inside. So the hip and the groin going the other way. This way compared to this way. Same principles apply. Instead of hitting on this side of the ball, and I, when I say hitting on this side of the ball, I'm not actually hitting here. I'm hitting just slightly off center. On this side, I'm hitting slightly off center on the other side. Okay, so I'm, I'm hitting here, it's giving that side spin on the ball, and I'm completing that circle, but it's coming, remember, it's at the same time. Touch and start your circle. Practice with both feet. Okay, that's where I would start, with that bounce, then go to the hands, then go to a basic juggle, and then minimize your setup time. So as you saw in the video, I did a couple of different variations, but you can go outside, inside, you can do multiples, which is pretty tough and, and you have to have quick feet and make a good groin uh, mobility, hip mobility. And let's also talk about the body positioning. If I am off balance and I'm here doing the skill, it's gonna be really tough. So think about having good foundation, getting your body over the ball. And from this position, you're gonna be more successful. What else did I do? I did like a, I did a inside, inside. So here, here, something like that. And I'm not gonna go into crazy detail on the advanced ones. For this video, I just wanna do a basic tutorial on how to do around the world soccer trick. 
So just like any trick, if you want to improve this, any skill, you got to put in the practice. Do not expect yourself to be a master. Don't allow yourself to get frustrated when you haven't even put in the work. If you're always looking at what other people do and saying, oh, I can't do that, I'm not as good as them, you're never focused on yourself. Don't worry where they are. Don't worry what they can do. Focus on what you can do today. Become a little bit better each day and you're gonna improve those skills and eventually you'll catch up to the other people. Don't worry about anyone else. What level are you at? Beginner, intermediate, advanced. How can you challenge yourself? How can you take your skills to the next level?